In this video, we'll answer the question whether AlCl3 is acetic, basic, or neutral when it's dissolved in water. The first thing we need to do is figure out the equation that produced the AlCl3, the aluminum chloride. We're looking at the neutralization reaction that produced aluminum chloride and the water here. So we have hydrochloric acid, that H in front, that tells us it's an acid, and aluminum hydroxide, that OH, that's telling us this is a base. Acid and base, we have the neutralization reaction, we have the salt and water. So once we have this equation, we need to figure out the strength of each of the reactants. This table here is really helpful. It's a very good table to memorize. As we look at the strong acids here, we see hydrochloric acid right here. So this is a strong acid. For our bases, we don't see aluminum hydroxide. So it's not here. It's not going to be a strong base. It'll be a weak base. So now we know the strength of the acid and the base. We can use the rules to figure out whether AlCl3 is acetic, basic, or neutral. So in this case, we have a strong acid and a weak base. So here's a weak base and a strong acid. And that tells us that the pH of this solution here will be less than 7. This will be acetic. So in answer to our question, when we put aluminum chloride in water, the solution that results will have a pH of less than 7, it will be acetic. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.